So as you can see, Mr. Rat, Mr. Rat, or the, the new Mr. Rat on the block, showed up by the shed on the inside of the house. So this is by the compost. This is usually where they want to hang out because they smell the compost, but because we put our kitchen scraps in there. So I'm going to try moving the uh, A24 over to the shed. So we're going to mount it on this vertical board like we've done before. I've been using this for when I attach it to the uh, uh, raised bed where the vegetables are, but they don't seem to be going for the vegetables this year, which is good. So we'll disconnect it from here or, or deattach it and then we'll attach it over by the shed. So this is where we saw Mr. Rat. There's the video camera, so well life camera. He's running along these bricks. I had these bricks up against the uh, up against the side of the shed because they way well, someone had been digging down. Maybe they're nesting under this shed, which is kind of annoying. So I could put it right here. It's kind of exposed. I think Mr. Rad would be happier if it's back over here. So you can see I have lots of bricks back here trying to stop them from nesting. <coughs> I think if I put it in here somewhere, like maybe on the center board and put a brick underneath it. That'd be just about right. That'd be more protected back here and I'll feel safer to do the feeding. So we'll move it back over here and we'll see how it goes. All right, so we got it attached to the shed. It's four inches above the ground, so at the width of your hand. We're gonna use our usual bait. We're gonna freshen it up. There's a little bit left in there, but there's none down in this area, so. I've shown that before. I'm not gonna bother showing that. So we'll set this up and we'll bring the camera over here and we'll see what happens tonight.
All right, another successful hunt. Rat number 12. I uh, didn't catch the kill on video, unfortunately, but uh, all right, Sophie out. There's Sophie. Yeah, I'm going to pick him up. So I'm using these vinyl gloves now. I can't get latex gloves anymore, so I'll keep a link to those. I'm using my bread, favorite bread bags to bag them up. So it looks like he didn't suffer too much. Let's try to escape a little bit here. So remember, we double bag them. So we bread bags are good because they're nice and deep, and they're cheap because we already get them anyway. So just gonna. Uh, there you go, my friend. And uh, we'll leave the trap over here for a few days and the camera to see what's going on. If there's any other rats around. But uh, hopefully that's it for this area. So you can see what it takes to get the trap to work. You've got to be proactive and see how the rat reacts to things and then um, uh, adjust accordingly. So you notice I added peanut butter below the trap to attract him some more and then that was enough to get him interested and after a day of sniffing and so forth he was comfortable enough to go up into it and then bam that's the end of mr rat number 12. All right so see you again when another rat shows up if you like this video please give it a thumbs up post a comment if you have any questions or ideas and i'll try to respond that's all for now, but more videos are coming, and if you want to see them, please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification icon if you don't want to miss one. This is Beta Signy signing out, and keep looking up.